In this video, I want to walk you through how to achieve your goals using a daily goal planner, specifically the goal crazy planner that I have been using recently. Now I'm not usually one to do sponsored videos. When Jason reached out to me, I was like, you can send me a planner, but the likelihood that I'm going to like it and want to do a video on it is slim to none. I was wrong. I actually really love this planner and I want to walk you through how I'm using it and how you can either use this one or something like it to help you stay focused on what you're working towards every day, every week, every month to actually move you towards your goals. Now I've been coaching for 10 years and so much of what I know about coaching, about personal development, about goal achievement, about mindset is built into this planner. I'm actually pretty thankful because I've been looking for something that includes the things that this is included. So drop me a comment below. Let me know if you already use a goal setting planner or which one you use, or if you're curious about this one. And as you do that, I'm going to switch cameras and actually walk you through this one and how it's actually used on a quarterly, monthly, weekly, and daily basis to help you reach your goals. Okay. So this is a pretty new setup and a way for me to record. So be patient with me because I will probably bump the camera or the mic at least seven times during this video. I'm going to walk you through how this actually works and how to use it. So the first part is kind of like your little, um, coaching. It's going to walk you through how to set up your goals. And the intention is to do this basically quarterly, um, or at least review it quarterly. The second part is going to actually walk you through the planner. It is the planner itself. So every planner comes with a section that is basically this section right here that's just goal planning. And then this actually will walk you through your days, your weeks, and your months. You got your months first. So let me walk you through what this looks like. So it'll walk you through a little bit of a um, how you do this, you know, kind of the basics of goal planning or goal achievement. And it's going to have you start off by focusing on your accomplishments, what you intended to do, but didn't. I love this, uh, benefits. Um, so you're going to be looking at the benefits you would have right now. If you had done these things that you wanted to do, this helps to create some motivation. And I love this as a coach. This is a technique that I use as well. And it's super helpful. Um, what's been holding you back. So you look at some different questions to answer there, my learning experiences. So things that maybe you messed up, you're not proud of, but you learned something important from them. Why does any of this matter? I love, love, love this. And I'm looking forward to doing this on a quarterly basis. Essentially, you're rating yourself in your health, your family, social, financial, and career, uh, educational, fun, spiritual, and faith on a scale of one to 10. Um, and, you know, figuring out just where you are. And then you're able to put that into the wheel of life is generally what it's called. So this allows you to take your percentages from the previous page and really look at where you are in the wheel and get a great visual of, you know, what's missing and where you're not very well rounded. So from there you go into your dream list. It's anything that you want to create in your life essentially. So then we've got forming your goals, your long-term goals. You're kind of ranking your dream list in terms of one year, five year, 10 year lifetime and dream. So like a dream is to travel into space. Um, so then you're looking at turning those goals into plans. So you plan out your goals for this year. You plan out your most impactful goal. Now this is really important because this is basically your number one focus. Um, and as I go through, I'll show you where you use that throughout the book and I'll explain what mine is and give you some examples of it. Um, it also will give you a little bit of coaching in terms of if you don't know where to start, but then once you have your most impactful goal, and I look at the most impactful goal as the one that is going to make the biggest difference on all the other goals. Maybe it's the one that needs to come first. You're going to actually write down what the goal is, today's date, the date you'll achieve it, the benefits you'll gain by achieving it, what you're willing to sacrifice to get there. 
uh, people who need to know about your goal, possible obstacles, possible solutions to those obstacles, and steps to achieving your goal. And if you remember in, I believe it was last week's video, when I talked about how I had actually shifted my work hours from 40 or 50 hours a week down to 20 hours a week so that I could focus on my health, my health being my most impactful goal. These were actually some of the steps that I took to be able to do that. Um, so I love that they were already built into this book. There's so much great coaching or coaching strategies that are already in here. And then you have your goal tracker and your milestones to reach this goal. I love this because it reminds me of middle school when you were trying to raise money for a field trip and you know you would you would mark it on the thermometer. It's the little things in life, people, that just make me super happy. So then you get into part two, which is your planner. So what this will actually do is break down by month. Then you will break um, each month. You'll have a month overview. At the end of the month, you'll have an end of month reflection. Then what you're actually doing through most of this is your week by week. So you've got a um, what you're going to accomplish this week and when you're going to accomplish it. And then you have your, your pages every day. You've got a morning page and an evening page to review that day. Now, um, and you've got your habit card. So let me actually back up a little bit and show you. There are three different bookmarks in here. So your first bookmark is actually going to go inside the most impactful goal so that you can come back and look at this. Your next one is going to go in that month's planner so that you can go back and look at what were your goals for the month and anything that you had scheduled out for that month. And then your next one is actually going to be at the beginning of the week. So when you do your weekly planning, that goes there. Then what you're gonna find at the back of this book, you've got three cards that will actually allow you to write down the top 10 habits that you're focusing on for that month. And then this is actually your habit tracker and you're using this day to day. So let me show you, for instance, on a Friday, you're gonna write down which habits you actually hit that day and then your percentage. Were you 80 out of 100%, 50, 10, 20? And I really, really love this. Now there's one thing that I do wish was different about this. I actually wish that I could track the habits, maybe write them right here and then track um, the days of the month here only because I would love to be able to see the entire pattern for the week or for the month to be able to see, you know, what days am I missing which habits? And that really helps me to notice my pattern. So if I were to say anything that I don't love about this, it would be that. I love having the percentage, but I don't love not being able to see the month view on a whole. And this was something that I was doing in a bullet journal, but the setup for a bullet journal every month, every week was just too much. And so this saves me so much time because it has all of that in there. So let me show you now um, the weekly or the daily trackers. What you actually do in the beginning of every day, you're gonna write the date, you're gonna have your most impactful goal, You'll write what you're thankful for, what you're grateful for, what you're excited about. It could be that day or something else. And then affirmations for the day. I don't actually write three affirmations. I use this as a paragraph of affirmations instead. Your number one goal for the day, the most important things you want to accomplish, the things that would be nice to get done, and then the not to-do list for today. Mine is usually like, don't work past 1.30 or don't stress out about how much I get done today. You can also do a bullet plan for the day. So if you are a daily planner person, I'm not. So I really like having this in a more of a planning, but not necessarily a day planner setup because I never use the day planner in other, other journals. I like this aspect of it. I like it giving me the ability to plan out my day, maybe even do some scripting for my day, especially with the affirmations but I would never use the actual planner. I am using this because it's simple and easy, but I don't necessarily do my scheduling. I just use this to give me a visual of what my day is going to look like. And it again, just kind of helps me to script out my day and set my mindset properly before I get into my day. At the end of every day, you write a positive sentence to describe the day. You write your top three accomplishments, your best moments from the day, any new ideas that you had, 
You have a place for notes. And then this is probably one of my favorite questions. If you can see it, it says, how will I improve tomorrow? Um, and it's just having these little check-ins. It's including all the most important things that are really going to be helpful in keeping your mindset in the right place and moving you forward in the things that matter the most in your life. Now, one way that I use this is I actually fill out the I'm grateful for in the evening. I track my food and any symptoms from my food. I might track water here, um, any changes to my mood or energy levels. I keep track of all of that within my notes. And again, the, that's the one thing that I have a hard time with. I would love to be able to have one page where I'm tracking some of these things so that I can see it all in one place and kind of get an overview or notice the patterns. You know, if I'm dipping in my energy levels or my mood, is it possible for me to see where or how that's happening? So that makes it a little bit harder because you only have the daily trackers and not something like a weekly or monthly tracker but it's still a really fantastic planner. It's about as close to perfect as I have found yet. So I've used other planners in the past, but I either found that they didn't have everything that I needed all in one place, so I was using multiple planners, or it was too much and I was spending too much time on it, or maybe it was only to be used once a day, or it just, just weren't clicking. This one clicks. The thing that I love about it is that everything I want, my scripting, my affirmations, my number one focus, planning things out, taking notes, tracking my habits, it's all in one place, but it takes me three minutes in the morning and three minutes at night. I leave it right by my nightstand. I do it as I'm getting ready in the morning, as I'm doing all of my other mindset work. I do this check-in, helps me to focus in on what I need to focus in on, both big picture and that day. And then at night I'm coming in and I'm checking in again. How did I do today? What stands out for me? How can I improve tomorrow? The most important piece of any goal setting planner is the fact that you are creating a constant focus. And by doing so, you're activating what's called your reticular activating system, which you've probably heard me talk about in other videos. You've maybe heard other people talk about it as well. This is a part of your brain that filters out the non-essentials and pulls into focus the essentials. By giving yourself checkpoints every morning, every night to remind yourself, what is your most impactful goal? What are the things I'm working on? What are the things that matter most? This is allowing you to filter out all the things in life that like to distract us from what really matters so that you can pull into focus what actually matters and you're able to spend more time and energy there. If you don't already have a system that's helping you to create that focus and you're looking for a planner like this, I highly recommend the Goal Crazy Planner. It's what I'm using now. I'm absolutely loving it. And I even got you guys a discount. If you use my name, Tara Wagner, you can get a 15% discount on your order. Now, I started this at the beginning of the year. It is undated. It so that means you don't have to do it at the beginning of the year or the beginning of the quarter. But I like that I started it at the beginning of the year. I would recommend that you get one now and plan to start it before the quarter starts so that you can go through the first part of it, setting up your goals, really getting things aligned, taking your time with that, and then starting with the undated planner as soon as you're ready to start with it. Let me know in the comments what you use to help you track your goals on a monthly, weekly, daily basis to be able to create that focus and keep you on track. And if you're brand new here, just so you know, my name is Tara Wagner. I'm a belief breakthrough coach helping women to crush their goals, not their soul. If that sounds like your jam, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, Give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment to say hello, introduce yourself, let me know what it is you do. Check out the other videos that I have for you as well as some freebies linked into the description, linked in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs>